Have you heard of Dylan Brooks? This guy is causing quite the stir in the NBA and people can't seem to decide whether they love him or hate him. He's the king of trash talk and isn't afraid to get a little wild on the court. Some say he has major street cred, while others think he's just a clown. This is how Dylan Brooks became one of the most hated men in the NBA. Sure, he's had some questionable moments in his career, especially during his college days at Oregon where he wasn't afraid to make some dirty plays. But let's not forget that this guy has some skills. His defense is tenacious and he's worked his way up from being the 45th pick to a full-time starter on the Memphis Grizzlies. And it's all thanks to his defensive prowess. But it's not just his skills that have people talking, it's his personality. Dylan Brooks is the kind of guy who loves to get in people's faces and stir up some trouble. He's not afraid of a little confrontation and he's always looking to ruffle some feathers. Some might say he's just playing mind games with his opponents, but others think he takes it too far. Brooks has a habit of picking fights with the wrong crowd. He went toe to toe with Draymond Green and the Warriors. Last year, during the second round of the playoffs, things got heated between the Warriors and the Grizzlies as Brooks got ejected for taking out Gary Payton the second. The Warriors ultimately won in a six-game series. Talk about a bad play. This year, Brooks got a chance to speak his mind about the Warriors on ESPN. And boy, he didn't hold back. He straight up said he doesn't like Green or anything about the Warriors. Ouch! But Brooks didn't stop there. He even said that Green only looks good playing for the Warriors and that he wouldn't stand out anywhere else. I don't like Draymond at all. I just don't like Golden State. I don't like anything to do with them. Draymond talks a lot, gets away with a lot too. His game is cool with Golden State, but if you put him anywhere else, you're not going to know who Draymond is. The thing is, Brooks isn't afraid of Green's reputation as a trash talker. In fact, he's ready to take the role of emotional leader and on-court instigator himself. And with the Memphis Grizzlies challenging the Warriors for their long-standing dominance in the Western Conference, it's only a matter of time before these two teams clashed on the court. The tension between Brooks and Green was palpable during their recent matchup. They got into a face-to-face -face confrontation after Brooks made a crucial basket, and the drama didn't end when the final buzzer sounded. Brooks even asked TNT to give the mic to Green after the game so he could motivate him to play better. Keep doing this podcast, keep blogging, keep doing this thing off the court. You know, it's cute, it's fun. But Green wasn't having it. He refused to give Brooks the satisfaction of getting under his skin and claimed that the Warriors and Grizzlies don't even have a real rivalry since Memphis hasn't won anything yet. Ouch, that's got a sting for Brooks and the Grizzlies. Green also claimed that Brooks was trying to bait him into getting technical fouls, but he refused to fall for it. Uh, he thought he would like bait me like he gets baited. You know what they say, to be crowned, you must take out the champs. At least you can try. He also got into a beef with Donovan Mitchell, which led to both of them being sent home after a little tussle on the court. And it wasn't pretty. The game was heating up with tensions running high on both sides. But when Brooks took a nasty spill after a missed layup, things took a turn for the worse. Instead of shaking it off and getting back into the game, Brooks decided to take matters into his own hands. Or should we say his own groin? Yeah, you heard me right. Brooks swung up his arm and hit Mitchell where it hurts most. Dude. Naturally, Mitchell wasn't about to let that slide. He retaliated by throwing the ball at Brooks and giving him a shove. And that's when all hell broke loose. Players and staff rushed onto the court to break up the brawl, but the damage was already done. Mitchell was livid, calling out Brooks for his dirty plays and saying there's no room for that kind of behavior in the game. But while Mitchell and the Cavs were fuming, Grizzlies player John ja Morant was taking a different approach. He kept his cool and played it off like it was just another day on the court. He even went as far as to say the Grizzlies don't have a beef with anyone and that they're not the kind of team to go looking for trouble. Unfortunately, not everyone on the Grizzlies roster was as level-headed as Morant. Brooks and the rest of the team were tight-lipped about the incident, leaving fans wondering what their take was on the whole thing. 
But one thing is for sure, the Grizzlies might need to work on their reputation a bit. Morant even suggested that the media treats them different than other teams, which could be part of the reason why they always seem to get punished for anything negative that happens. Maybe Brooks' actions will serve as a wake-up call for the Grizzlies to start playing with a bit more sportsmanship. Or maybe this is just the beginning of a long and bitter feud between two talented teams. Either way, you can bet that fans will be tuning into the next game to see what happens next. Having a beef with two superstars can be a mistake, but when it comes to three, that means you're out for blood. And for someone with no rings and personal accolades to his name, challenging a player with the best handles means you really want to be taken seriously. It all started when Dylan said he was excited to have Kyrie Irving to himself since Luka was out. The two players went head-to-head -head during the match and didn't hold back their emotions. Irving came out hot in the first half, scoring 20 out of his 28 points with Brooks just having 9 points. Talk about poking a bear. At the end of the game, Irving had to dodge Brooks's negative vibes and skip the jersey swap. But that didn't stop Brooks from making more noise, claiming he was going to hang Irving's jersey on his wall like a trophy. And if that wasn't enough to convince you he's a bully, just ask the poor cameraman who got pushed to the ground by Brooks during a game against the Miami Heat. Brooks just made his worst mistake of all by calling LeBron James old during the playoffs. I don't care, he's old. <laughs> the trash talking got worse when Brooks demanded 40 points from LeBron to earn his respect. I mean, the guy has four rings, countless records, and an entire generation of young players looking up to him. Brooks may have won game two of the series, but then hit the guy in the main region the next game and got suspended. But his talk went silent after LeBron put up 20 and 20 on him in game four, something LeBron hasn't done before. I poke bears. Do you think Dylan Brooks knows what he's doing or just acting like a clown? Let us know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Watch another one now. You can do it. Go ahead.